Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. <laughs> myself. What you're looking at here, this is the rocker panel, this is the rocker panel that the owner fucking gave us. He sent it out here with the car and I should have went ahead and put this rocker panel on before I put it in the fucking, before I put the floor in. I should have put the rocker panel on before the floor but and that's where we fucked up. Now, we are not going to replace this whole rocker panel. Why aren't we going to replace that whole rocker panel? Because there is a lot of major structure on that rocker panel that would have to be removed to slide the whole rocker panel in. And if you look at that section of the rocker panel, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, we got the, the, the door opening, the door latch opening that mounts to the rocker panel itself. Uh, then we got the quarter panel that mounts to it. We got the rear inner fender well that mounts to it. There's a lot of major structure that mounts to that quarter panel and would be a very, very big pain in the ass to remove it. Now, we also found that we got two rust holes. Uh, you can see there's one right there. I've already checked it. And then there's another small one over here right in that area there you can see that so those are repairable rust holes that we can cut and patch and weld and we also see on this rocker panel this is the original rocker panel we also see that it's very straight and it hasn't been wrecked and crushed and we also see on the bottom side of it that it's in very good shape as well so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and basically section the rocker panel section the rocker panel into the other rocker panel using the new piece of rocker panel as the front piece and the back piece as the old piece. Now when you replace a rocker panel like what I'm doing what you want to do is you want to find a point of interest where you can measure from to cut out the piece that you fucking need to use. And what we found is if we look right here, this is where our seat belt bolts for the back. This is a seat belt bolt hole uh, for the back of the seat, or would that be the front? Let's look at that. That might be where the front seat belt bolts. Anyway, that's a that's a that's a mark right there of interest where the seat belt, one of the seat belts would bolt. Uh, whatever that fucking bolt hole is for, right there, that is our point of interest. Now, you can't see the mark that I marked on there, so let me get a piece of tape and I'm going to mark that. And then now, we can see the, the, the tape right here. This is where I marked it. It's right in the center of that bolt. And then what I did is I went ahead and measured from this lip here all the way to the very center of that bolt, and it came out to 24 and an eighth of an inch. I did the same thing on the inside on the rocker panel that is the original one on the fucking car, and it turned out to be exactly the same as well. It was 24 and an eighth of an inch, give or take, 
uh, not exactly one hundred millionth of a second of a centimeter perfect, but it was close enough where we're going to use this as our measuring point to cut it off up in this section here somewhere. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove this tape for right now. And I am going to go ahead and measure it one more time. Now, like I said, I've already drew a line here with my magic marker. You can't see that, but I see it, and I'm going to measure it. And that says 24 and an eighth. And then from this corner to here, it says 24 and an eighth. Now, I want to let you know one thing about doing this kind of job. This is an aftermarket piece. This is an aftermarket rocker panel. I don't know where the fuck he bought this. For all I know, this thing was made in Taiwan. It was made in Taiwan. It says right here, made in Taiwan, ROC. Okay, uh, that's great. So this is a uh, foreign made object and it's going to probably give us fucking problems, but we're going to have to deal with it and use it. And hopefully this fucking Taiwan made rocker panel is going to cut the mustard. I hope so. I really fucking hope so. What I'm worried about is this line right here. All right, This is the outside door line where the door is going to line up with our rocker panel. And I hope and pray to God that everything lines up like it's supposed to and we should not have any fucking problems. But are we going to not have any problems? That's the question. Yes, we are going to have problems. Because once again, this is an aftermarket pile of shit. And aftermarket pieces are not the best 100% perfect fucking pieces to deal with. to be the point of accuracy is when you're dealing with outer panel replacement parts. I am calling this an outer panel replacement part because this is on the outside of the car. This is where the door will line up. Uh, if you stand the rocker panel up, let me go back here like this right here so you can see what we're talking about and then your door would be right here. Do you see what I'm saying? So your door would swing open like this and then this would be your bottom gap so this is where accuracy plays a big part in what the fuck's going on to make sure that everything fits perfect let's go ahead and get started on this fucking little project here it shouldn't take us long to knock this out i'm hoping that everything's going to go together okay and uh that's all i can say so what we're going to do is we're going to start with this pile of shit right here. And uh, once again, I've already drew the line on the inside here. Now what I got here is I got a little, a little T-square type fucking tool. Uh, you can see that right there. All right. And this is going to help us make a straight line all the way across. So I drew a line exactly in the same spot that I drew it on the other one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my square my uh, measuring uh, tool I'm going to line that up we got to make sure that this is a, a perfect fucking match here alright we want to make sure that this motherfucker is right on the fucking money and then we'll go ahead and take some tape just like this and now before we go any further we're going to go ahead and measure the rocker panel from the, uh, the back side outside lip to this point here and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with our other rocker panel to get another accurate measurement as we go. And as you can see this is a lot of accurate measurement shit going on and that's what it fucking takes to do it right is accurate measurement. Measure 10 or 20 times first and then cut the motherfucker out. <laughs> Okay, I measured that rock.
rocker panel over there, uh, I did exactly the same thing that I did to this one. I went ahead and taped it off, and it said 25 uh, strong, which means about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. So then we're going to hook on the back of our uh, rocker panel here, over to here. This says 25 and a fucking half. This says 25 and a half. That one says 25 strong. So somewhere, somehow, something is fucked up. Okay, you can't see me, but you can see my hands right here, and I have found me a marking point, and that marking point is actually the same lip that I marked off up here inside in the back. I'm marking it from the same spot down on the bottom here, and I'm going to go 24 and an eighth. And that's going to line us up to where we want to be on our fucking rocker. We have found out that the aftermarket rocker panel, uh, the lip on the back is actually, uh, it's actually, I don't even know now. Actually, one of them's a little longer than the other one, but it's a fucked up situation. But you know what? Watch, listen, and learn, and you're going to see how the fuck this is done. Replacing a rocker panel such as this is a big fucking job. It's a big fucking job and it takes a lot of measuring and calculation to make it all fucking fit proper where everything is right. And if you look right here, this is where I was measuring from. I was measuring from this top lip right here, but obviously this is longer uh, or shorter. I don't remember which, and I'm not going to fucking find out because one of them is different than the other. So, But we did find out that this edge right here is the same on both of them. So our outside sheet metal is wrong. It's a different fucking angle, but the inside sheet metal is okay. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to measure, do the same exact measurement down here. Okay, this is the top, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to do it on the bottom down here, right here. We're going to measure from right here over to here, 24 and an eighth. So we're going to measure right from this lip right here, 24 and an eighth. And then that should line up with our tape. Now, we got a measuring point of what we're going to do here. And then, of course, we'll go ahead and do the same thing down here where we marked it. Let me start my tape. And then we'll basically follow our tape right along just like that. And that's it right there. So now that we got our point of interest, this doesn't, I just want to explain one thing. Just because I drew this line around this rocker panel does not mean that's where we're cutting. This is just a measuring situation of where we are going to measure from to cut everything off to match everything together like a puzzle. Uh, now, if you look at this side here, this is all mangled and rotted, and somebody already tried to fix this once, did a shitty fucking job on it, and we got to get rid of all this little section here. We want to keep as much of the original rocker panel as we can. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and measure out, and we're just going to cut the bad section off here. We're going to not, you understand what I'm saying? We're going to take as little, as much, as po less as possible off of this fucking car to put the rest of it all together. Where the fuck is my bitch? My tape measure. So we got to go past this weld mark here where I welded it. So it looks like we are going to go five inches. We're going to go exactly five inches out, and we're going to go from there, measuring with our marker right here. Right 
there. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple marks on the inside as well. We'll get one up here. And then we'll get a couple going down the rocker panel itself. Just like that. And then now, we can go ahead and take our tape again, putting it right on the mark that we measured, because we got to have this precise. And once again, I just want to let everybody know out there, the hands talking now, this is a very, very complicated situation we got here. Uh, and if you cannot calculate to figure this out, this is the job that a professional might have to do for you. So don't be uh, taken and stuck in the ass, you might say. And don't let yourself stick yourself in your fucking ass. Because if you fuck up, this could be a major fucking play in ruining your car. A major fucking play in ruining your car. Right here.